So how does one take advantage of such opportunities? Well, earlier, I sat down with David Wood, CEO of the XM Group that helps companies develop and implement export strategies. So, David, what are some of the biggest misconceptions that we may have here in the States about, the, about what China is even all about? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. It's actually a question I get asked quite a bit. The, um, as I travel around, it's interesting to me how the image of China is so much different than Oklahoma's image of every other country around the world. And somehow, I think the misconception that somehow China is a threat. And if I had one thing that I could tell, in particular Oklahoma businesses, is that China really represents probably one of the largest opportunities for Oklahoma that uh, we will probably ever see in our lifetime. Let's talk a little bit about that opportunity. I know China's middle class is virtually exploding. That, that's right. I, uh, I don't know. I call it the BMW generation simply because I've been there so many times and it's amazing how many 740i BMWs you see over there right now and the people you see running them are 28 to 32 year olds. And what's happened is they have, as they have become a westernized culture, uh, these businesses have gone from uh, really a government run type of organization now to privatized, profit oriented organizations and uh, they have gotten very, very good at it and are, uh, are growing at an explosive rate. And so when you go over and you visit a company that might have 300 employees or 400 employees and you finally get an opportunity to meet the president or the owner of that company, it's not unusual for that person to be 28 years old. And uh, it's just a, a classic example of an opportunity that Oklahoma doesn't really recognize yet. Uh, if I go over there, I see many, many people uh, from Europe uh, and the rest of Asia, but really uh, the U.S. has not recognized how big that opportunity is. And primarily the opportunity comes from uh, the point that it is becoming the largest consumer market in the world. And most Oklahomans tend to think of China as a place where Oklahoma companies would go to have things imported and take away Oklahoma jobs. Just the opposite is true. You know, granted, there's an opportunity for some import, but really the opportunity is about trade. Mm -hmm. It's an opportunity to get goods from China as well as sell goods to China. In fact, I would say that there is a greater opportunity to sell to China than there is a threat of the import piece that everybody tends to center on. Yeah, and, and that's just reinforced by the demographics that we see, is this that their, their population continues to grow, their middle class continues to grow, and they're building at a phenomenal rate over in China. A absolutely. You've got, you know, for decades, centuries, you had a lower class and then the, the upper class. And it's just in the last 20, 30 years that this middle class is now exploding. And it's, and it's increasing at an increasing rate. Uh, if you want to get a feel for it, all you have to do, I believe as you have, is travel there and look at some of the major cities. Uh, you know, we had the MAPS program here in Oklahoma City. Uh, well, they, if you can think of it, they have a giant MAPS program for all of China, and that is they know exactly how to go into each uh, uh, city, and they start with airports, then they build the major highways between those airports and the cities, Then now they're working on infrastructure. You know, the Three Gorges Dam is not just an isolated little project. It's all part of a planned community for the whole, for all of China, primarily dealing with uh, the infrastructure. Uh, really, people think of the Three Gorges Dam, for example, as, well, it's just about done. Absolutely not. There's years more work of putting water lines all across the country of China. Um, uh, what I was going to talk about, about the uh, explosion of the middle class, go and just look at the buildings. And if you can extrapolate what's happening in terms of skyscrapers, that same thing is happening with a middle class. Shanghai, for example, in 85, 1985 had one skyscraper. And here in 2005, they have over 300 skyscrapers. In fact, 60% of the world's crane population, the big cranes that build skyscrapers, 60% of that population of those cranes is in China today.